Good morning. Thought I'd bring you out for a walk through the garden with me. I <clears throat> got up and made some breakfast and decided I was ready to walk around the garden. So here's the big fern that uh, has been growing for a while and there's the split leaf philodendron. My goodness, that thing has perked up and grown so much. I um, am definitely going to be splitting it up before long because it's just too, too big for me to take it into the house. Oh, and as soon as I decided to uh, make a video, then of course the neighbor decides to start cutting something. But there's the deck from this view. My little kitchen area. few wildflowers and squash that came up here randomly. I'm assuming it's spaghetti squash, but I guess time will tell. There's the fire pit. Well, you know, that thing's going to be ready to go as soon as we light it. <laughs> but here's the main attraction. Got the garden. Oh. There's so much space back here that I want to clear out and expand the garden next year. Um, these raised beds are only a few years old, but they're starting to disintegrate. So <clears throat> as they go, I'm just going to keep expanding. So this is the herb garden, although some flowers um, keep coming back in there and I just leave them. So it's definitely needs to um to be just cleaned out a little bit but you know it's it's a whole lot of work having a garden and so i didn't know how things would grow and we were so discouraged because last year the deer ate everything that um you know a lot of stuff i did in pots and that just randomly because i didn't want to put in too much effort if the deer were still going to eat everything that i planted so Here's some rainbow shard starting to grow. And there's, so it's a combination of flowers slash vegetables. There's the squash. <clears throat> so there's a big butternut squash right there. But then if we peek down below, there's a nice spaghetti squash under there. So there's two to three butternuts on here. And that's the only... Um, spaghetti squash I've seen so far. Looks like the sunflowers are getting ready to bloom. Look at these dahlias. These are the Arabian night and they have gone crazy this year. I love them. Thank you, Scott. And there's corn in there. I took one of the cobs off yesterday and cooked it and ate it and it was very good. Although I do think I'll give them just a little bit longer because they are, um, you know, it was just a little on the small side, but the silk started to dry up. So I wanted to check it for, um, you know, to see there's some shard. I harvested some of that the other day and these tomatoes, I don't have any tomatoes yet, but I planted those late. So, and then here's the painted Madame Dahlias. Oh. So pretty, so pretty. And then there's some more over here. They're just so beautiful. We had this humongous tree fall on our garden at the beginning of last year was another reason why I didn't end up getting anything planted. Now these tomatoes have a couple very small ones on there. Oh, there's a big tomato worm, too. I'm going to have to come out here and get you a little later. See him in there? Tomato hornworm. You thought you were hiding, buddy. See, the Roma tomatoes. There's a few little tomatoes in there. So in here, I've got my jalapenos, and I've harvested off of those three or four times already. There's carrots and poblanos. 
carrots in that pot too. And then there's a row of potatoes here. And this is being eaten by pests. And I say this because we thought it was broccoli, but then I'm like, I am pretty sure I planted collards there. So if it's collards, I should have already been harvesting some leaves. But anyway, so that's what I get for not marking stuff. And then there's another type of dahlia. Those are the ones that did so well last year, but this year it's the Arabian Nights that are so pretty back there. <laughs> All right, and then this is the new bed. This is a keyhole garden. We actually started this late, got it finished late this year. Um, those are the radishes in there. Um, actually, some of those are ready to be harvested. And it looks like that's a carrot there. I know everything didn't germinate, but I am going to plant some more greens in here for a fall harvest. And there's our little archway we've got some vines starting to grow up at passion vines and my favorite tree it's a fern leaf beech tree and then I'll just be quiet and let you hear the sounds of the morning other than someone working on something. <laughs> it's okay, we can still hear the birds and the crickets.